so today I thought I would do a makeup brush tag. In this video I will be showing you all of my favourite makeup brushes and what I use on a daily basis so let's get started. So here is all of my makeup brushes I use on a daily basis. So I'm starting off with sponges and I've only really gotten into sponges within the past six months I'd say um, and I've really really loved them, they are the best things ever. Now I have the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and also Real Techniques, this is the Mini Eraser and this will give me the most perfect finish I need and also coverage, I can use it for quickness sometimes, it's just one of those sponges I can use for every situation, so yeah I absolutely love this. And then my obviously little second sponge, this is what I use for my concealer and also baking. I have two, so this one I use for baking under the eye, just fits perfectly under the eye, it's so cute. And my other one is perfect for concealer and they're great as they remove fall down of mascara and eyeliner, they're just really good sponges, so yeah. These are my choice of sponges. My favourite brush to use for foundation is this Soeva 102 Silk Finish Brush. I absolutely love this brush for foundation and I will never not stop using this. And I always use this for foundation. This brush is quite dense and that's why I love it so much. It applies foundation onto your skin so beautifully, makes it very flawless, very easy to buff and gives you such a lovely natural finish. I love it. Yes, yeah, so this is my foundation brush. For powder, I always, always use this now, and it is so good. It is the Duo Fiber Contour Brush, and I clearly don't use it for contour. I love this for powder. This applies the powder so lovely, even, and doesn't pick up too much product because it's Duo Fiber. I also use this not just for a plain powder but I love using this for when I bake under my eyes just to dust it off. It dusts so evenly and it's just the perfect brush to get under your eyes dusting that bake away. For concealer brushes I use these two brushes. Now I like to use eye brushes for concealer as they're very small and they also have really good shapes and I find they blend the best with eye brushes. So I use the Bold, Real Techniques Bold Metals 200 brush as this is quite a large shader brush almost which blends in really well. This brush gives really good coverage just by me packing on onto my eyes and this is also my favourite concealer brush. This is the Spectrum Eye Brush and this moves really really well. It just glides on under my eyes, blends and if I've got I use concealer down my nose, I can just blend it in quickly. It gets the job done really well and makes it crease free as well. So these are the two I love. For bronzer, contour and highlight, these are my brushes I absolutely adore. For bronzer I use this Zoeva 127 Luxshare Cheek and I love this for just applying bronzer because it fits so perfectly for the apples and Sometimes if you want, do want to contour a little bit, just perfect to get in the cheekbones. Just distributes the product really well. I love this. And it's so soft and it's angled, which helps even more for bronzer. For contour, this is the Real Techniques Bulb Metal 301 brush. This is so dense and this is what makes such a good contour brush. When you apply contour with this, it blends so well considering it's so sharp it, just, it fits really well into the cheekbones it blends so seamlessly and just how beautiful it is as well it's gorgeous it's rose gold all of it it's just the best contour brush ever for highlight i also use another bold metals brush this is the 300 brush this fits perfectly on the cheekbones down the center of the nose and obviously anywhere you would like a bit of highlight it applies just the right amount of product and makes it go on so well. It picks up product really well. This is the best brush for highlight definitely because it's very tapered and I like that because it just dusts it on so well. For eyebrows, I always, as a holy grail, always use the Zoeva 317 Winged Liner Brush. 
This is amazing at doing my eyebrows. It's very thin, easy to apply. Definitely with it being obviously an angled brush, it is, makes life so much easier. The next one is from Primark, I think. This is just like £1.50 or something. But I love this for the spoolie. It is so good. I've, you can angle the spoolie as well, so you can change the shape, so you can move it up more angled and this is just great for brushing your eyebrows through blending the product and i also use this end for applying powder to set my eyebrows finally for the eyebrow section i always use this real techniques detailer brush now i love this for carving out my eyebrows because it fits just perfectly over my eyebrows under it's a really precise shape and that is what i love about this so much. It really carves my eyebrows out and then obviously you can blend it out really well. Then this is just a great little brush to use. So yeah, these are my little three eyebrow saviors. Next, I love using the Real Techniques Compact Fan Brush. This is the cutest thing ever and I think you might have seen it in my past videos, but this is the sweetest thing. It's so small, it's a mini fan brush. I love this for highlighting the brow bone, highlighting in the inner corners, and if I want to contour in certain areas, like the nose, it's just great to fit down. It's just a great little all round brush. Now for eyes, I use a mixture of brushes really. I use a bit of Spectrum, Zoeva and Bold Metals Real Techniques. I love using the Zoeva 231 Lux Petite Crease Brush. As it states on the brush, this is for your crease. This is great for really fitting in into your crease and defining the crease a little bit more. I love this so much and it's just perfect as it's so tapered and it really gets the job done. Next one is this little pencil brush from um, Spectrum. I love Spectrum so much. They do really good quality eyeshadow brushes and face. But this is my favourite for adding to the outer corner of my eye if I really want to do a cut crease or a really, really defined crease. If I want to smoke out the lash line, it's a really, really good brush and perfect for under the eye as well because it's just a little brush that can fit in areas that you want more precision. This is the MAC 275 brush and it's angled and tapered but really fluffy. This is when I want to do quite a light wash crease so if I want to put it on and blend it, I don't want a harsh crease, it just is amazing. It blends so well, it's so soft, the angle really helps to get into the crease and really buffs your eyeshadow out and it's just great because if you want to do corner of your eye, it's just amazing. Next is this Spectrum Short Flat Shader, what a mouthful, and this is just the perfect blending smoky brush. It's just so good. And with it being so dense, it really packs the product on and then blends it perfectly. This is another Spectrum brush and this is a very fluffy brush. I use this to set my eyelid after I've primed, set it with a base colour and then if I want to blend, it's just great for blending the crease along all of the eyelid or just one wash colour. It's so good and blends amazingly. It's so fluffy and so soft and I totally recommend this brush. Another one from the Bold Metals collection, this is the 203 brush and again I love my tapered brushes. This is very tapered but it's a really good tapered small size and this is perfect for the crease and blending. Lastly is my winged liner brush which is my favourite and I will never ever have another winged liner brush the same again. I use it to wing out liner. It is perfect with gel and powder. This brush is very, very thin. It's perfect size, very small brush. If you want any size wing, a little wing or a big cat eye, this will do the job. And that is everything. I really hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again in my next video. Why did they even invent these things? Like, what even are they? <laughs> this is so funny. Oh no, all the brightness. Oh no. The oh, oh my. Oh my. <laughs>